bitching post, motherfucker. What? Okay, this is a list of things my ex has taught me. Okay. Okay, exes can teach you things. For example, in, in my past, I've learned from my exes in no particular order that uh, you should never love someone more than they love you. Okay, okay, this is, this is a good one. Okay, the old, the old excuse of you don't have a college ID so you can't get the theater discount. It's just another way to say, I'm an asshole. Okay, let me just say something. My gay dar is not broken. It is not broken, okay? So that one dude I, <laughs> so that one dude I, pre <laughs> so that one dude I dated that pretended to be gay when I met him because he said he found it attracted the ladies Yet that one time that we were at the mall and we were looking through the sale rack outside of the clothing store and the sales clerk flirted with him and he flirted back. Yeah, it was, it was no surprise to me what became of that guy. <laughs> when they say, <laughs> when they say, you tuckered me out after sex and then immediately disappear for like three months you don't hear from them. <laughs> it means they found another chick to bang and apparently knock up because <laughs> because one bastard child isn't enough to screw the system. Two are better. Okay, okay. A cheap date is a cheap date no matter which way you spell it. So <laughs> when we go to the theater and instead of buying me a drink, your excuse is, oh, oh, no, we don't need to buy drinks. I have plenty of warm bottles of water in my trunk. That's just another way of saying, that's just another way of saying, let's have sex, but I'm gonna use these super old condoms and hope that they don't rip up. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and thanks to my exes, I no longer can hear certain kinds of music. I just, I just can't. So yeah, that's right. So <laughs> if we date and then we break up, that music you so love, that god awful music that you were so into, is like, I just can't stand to hear it. I just can't. I hate it with a passion. I really do. So that's why I can't listen to the Beatles. Green Day, Social Distortion, System of a Down, Phil Collins. Tupac, Los Lonely Boys, <laughs> Sublime, Van Morrison, and any of those hippie people that came out in the last waltz. I just can't, 